Hey everyone, hope you're doing it all right. It's Bradley here from Haunting Nights. Hopefully you're not becoming one of the many, many ghosts and spirits around Howarth from falling on my arse and nearly killing myself. Now we're here live in the graveyard. Now we've been here many, many times before. We're just about to start our interactive ghost walk. So explaining interactive, meaning it's your chance, your opportunity to join in in the paranormal world and try at your very, very own way at ghost hunting so there's a variety of different methods that we do use when we go out ghost hunting a variety of being like sometimes we have psychic mediums sometimes we use a variety of different tools ouija boards table glass all sorts of different sometimes we do seances all variety of different methods that we use so this is supposed to be one of the most haunted graveyards now we visit this on a nearly weekly basis probably every couple of weeks or so we come we take the members of the public tell them some of the stories some of the ghosts that are supposed to haunt this location that's all around where we are now i'm going to give you a quick little beautiful view of the location that's all around me beautiful beautiful place up here in West Yorkshire. As I said, we've been doing these tours now for probably the last 12 months, give or take a few times we've had to sort of uh, shut down and not being able to allow it out. But now we are, we're out in full speed. Hey, hope you're all right, Don, I hope you're all okay. Tell us where you are tonight. If you're not out on your ghost adventure, we've got so many of these going all over the UK. At this moment in time, we've got Paul down in Bristol. He's down in Bristol, isn't he? At the clock tower one of our most popular events that's down there one of the most haunted as well he'll be doing a live from our facebook page make sure that you stay tuned and you come on look on what he's up to sending him some abuse maybe as well while he's down there um, i'm sure if you tell him to go off and do a live somewhere in one of the most haunted places he will because we're going bug him a little bit some of the other team are out as well we've got the lovely claire who's in Liverpool, is that right? Liverpool tonight going on as well. So a few other locations we're here in Howarth tomorrow night. We're in Lancaster on the trail of some of the most famous and infamous witches in the north of England, known as the Pendle Witches. Now, I'll give you a little view around of where I'm walking. You can just see a little bit better of where I am, just in the middle of the Yorkshire Moors. I know you can't see me, but hopefully you can hear me a lot better especially since I changed that stupid phone that I used to have. But I hope you're all keeping well. Some good news coming out this week as well, that all our freedoms are coming out so we can get cracking on with some more ghost adventures that we've got planned for you guys. And hopefully you'll be able to join us. If you'll be able to all get out and come on one of our very own ghost adventures that we've got planned for you some brand new locations that are coming up some in the northeast actually funny enough funny enough there's actually a few more that are coming up in that location that we're looking at as well so look out for that in the next couple of months some really interesting stuff that's coming as well especially with our youtube channel so make sure if you haven't joined us on youtube if you haven't joined us on youtube yet you need to make sure that you go and you join us on our channel subscribe like it watch some of the videos that are going on it's not supposed to be a professional series or anything like that it's just us mostly mucking about on some of our tours and some of the guides that do them they'll come on and they'll say hello and tell you what they're up to so it's just all a bit of a laugh and we enjoy it so i hope you guys are all all right as I said, we're here in howarth the home of the bronte family and home of the worst place to live in victorian england was in this very very area it was a popular what was it what did you say about the population you were, t you were telling me population yeah on the edge yeah 21. what was the uh 60 percent population 60 percent of the population the died before the age of six in this tiny village got the lovely mandy with me well mandy's with me anyway just walking into the woods now now so many different reports um have been accounted paranormal activity has been accounted in this area 
So it's a very, very interesting place to sort of come and spend a little bit of time. Now we're going to slowly start walking back into the village now, speak, especially to meet up with our guests and bring them back down here and hopefully get them to experience some of the phenomena that has happened here in previous times, especially when the lights go down. We've got the Yorkshire Moors that's right behind us, many travellers were attacked, murdered by cutthroats that would hang out on the moors, travelling between Yorkshire and Lancashire. And many ghost stories have been contributed to that very, very area from ghostly sounds, whistling, I think it's another thing that's been reported up in that area, some very, very strange phenomena. So we're just walking down, as you can see, back into the area. As I said, I hope you guys are doing really, really well. Paul will be back on doing a live very, very soon. David, I hope you're all right, mate. You're in bed. I hope you're keeping well thank you good luck thank you very much make sure you keep those comments going i'm in landoff where's that tell me where it is i'm excuse my ignorance i know some place if i've not heard of it i don't normally know but if you tell me where's haunted near it i guarantee you i'll know where that place is so we're just having a little bit of a walk down now as i said many ghostly reports have been accounted into this very very area they're supposed to be the ghostly sounds of children reported down this very very path now we're right next to the old quarry. There used to be an old my, um, old graveyard, excuse me, next to it before they actually built the church at the top. So this is the area where many sites of sort of small white mists have been seen darting across the road as we tend to walk down. So very, very, very atmospheric room. Uh, room from atmospheric location mandy did you want to say anything to the camera before we go no something a bit more professional than that would help um, something along the lines of yep come and yeah, join hoyt come and join hoyt nights learn a little bit about the history of how and um, look on my website and do you think you can ever say anything in public without saying um no, no. Jen, I hope you're all right, darling. So, yeah, on there, so I hope you're keeping well. So yeah, very interesting. Very, very interesting location. So we're gonna have a bit of a walk up, walk through the village, have a little look, join up with our guests. Now, this is your opportunity to come and have a look on our website. You should be able to see me in a minute, so I'm about to walk under some light your chance to join us on your very very own ghost adventure we are facilitating you so we are very much here just to look after you and then hopefully bring you into the world of the paranormal and show you some of the most haunted locations as well so we will oh, i'll tell you what i'll walk down with you a little bit further you want to see a little bit i'll show you we're just walking past some people so we'll just have to ignore them so excuse me I don't know if you always have to do that. I think it'll be good, though. Yeah. Uh-huh. There you go. Yeah, so we're walking just back into the actual village now, just behind the Black Bull. Now, the Black Bull is report reported to be haunted by... A, how many? There's up to six or seven different spirits that are supposed to be in there, from children to even the famous Bramwell Bronte himself. He's supposed to sit in the armchair at the top of the stairs, which, according to Mandy, is fake. The real one is in the Parsonage Museum. Is that correct? Yes. So many interesting facts that you learn along the way with your haunting night as well. So just have you, before I leave you, give you that quick little glance of one of the most beautiful villages in this whole entire area in West Yorkshire. That's the beautiful village of Haworth. And that's where we are now. So we're going to leave you two guys to it. We're going to go up, join it, take the guys around on a tour. Hopefully have a brilliant experience while we're out there. Enjoying some of the sounds, some of the sights, some of the experiences that Howarth has to offer when the lights go down. So make sure you go on our website, which is www.hauntednights.co.uk and also our ghost walk site, which is hauntednightsghostwalks.co.uk as well. And hopefully... I was just shutting up for the bells. Hopefully you'll be able to join us on your very own experience 
and join your very own ghost adventure. See you all very, very soon.